Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, hey, I'm going to check the attendance. Okay. Good evening. You... Hello, good evening, welcome. When you listen to your name, uh, please say present. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance. I'm going to start checking the attendance. Hi, dear person. Okay, good evening. Hello, good evening. Alex Gonzalo Baiza. Present. Excellent. Welcome. Ana Luisa Aguilar. Present. Excellent. Carlos David López. Present. Ok, Carlos. Present. Ok. Claudia Margarita Constante. Present. Excellent. Concepción de la Urdes Núñez. Hello, I'm, I'm here. Excellent. Dalila Cristina Gómez. Present teacher. Excellent, welcome. Elena Marisol Peralta. Good evening, teacher, I'm here. Good evening, welcome. Eileen Lorena Alvarez. Eileen Lorena. Ay, no, no se la escucha, creo. Encienda, abre el micrófono. Eh, no, no se la escucha. Idalia Margarita. García. Present teacher, present. Excellent. Iliana Elizabeth Hernández. Present. Excellent. Ingrid Morena Ventura. Present teacher. Excellent. Jefferson Alexis Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Can, oh no, Jenny Akane Molina. Present teacher. Welcome, Jenny. Okay, Juan Carlos López. Juan Carlos López Escobar. No. Juan José Carpio. Juan José. Liliana Dolores Nina. No, Liliana Dolores. Luis Alejandro Mendoza. Profe. Ok. Luis Josué Valle. Sure. Okay. Manuel Fernando Castillo. Present. Excellent. María Magdalena Méndez. Present teacher. Welcome. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez. 
Um, here go. Excellent. Olga Lisset Valdez. Present Miss. Excellent. Rina Margarita Arana. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome. Thelma Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, Heidi. Okay, sí, ya le puse presente, Heidi. En Verónica Alicet Alas. Verónica Alas. Vilma Aide Cortés. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, obviously I will be your teacher for this course. So let me introduce myself. Okay, my name is um, Erika Cordova. Okay, I will be with you. Um, no sé si no mencioné a alguien, sorry. Nobody is missing. No, todos mencioné. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, my name is Erika Cordova. Okay, I will be with you during this course. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, um, I have experience uh, like a English teacher as a second language in a second language acquisition. Uh, I'm also uh, familiar, uh, familiarized with the blended learning and interactive platforms that we are going to use uh, during this course, I hope. Okay, and uh, uh, I think the, the theoretical information about the course, you already know because it is no, no new for you. Okay, uh, creo que todos tenemos claro, ¿verdad? Las, las normas, eh, lo que tenemos que entregar, la forma en cómo se trabaja en la plataforma. Uh, siempre seguimos eh, con el del 80 hacia arriba, tanto en asistencia como en trabajo en plataforma. Y sabe que usted puede ir eh, trabajando en la plataforma, aunque los temas no se hayan visto. ¿Verdad? And uh, las normas de cortesía, ¿verdad? De eh, estar eh, con el audio, el micrófono apagado, ¿verdad? Ingresar siempre con su nombre completo, mantener su cámara activa, eh, ahí a menos que de verdad sea alguna emergencia o, o algo. And always let me know. Okay, let me know, for example, Teacher, uh, I at work and I can't turn on my camera. Okay, siempre hágamelo saber. Eh, trate de no faltar, verdad, a las a, a las clases, porque se le va contando, verdad, cada una de, de, de las asistencias, así como los minutos eh, desde que usted ingresa a la clase. Entonces, tiene que cumplir eh, los 60 minutos, ¿verdad? Y mantenerse con la cámara activada. Si tiene alguna pregunta, levantar la manita virtual, ya que de esa manera es más fácil identificar a quién hace la pregunta. Y siempre mantener una ambiente. ¿Sí? 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 ¿Tienes una pregunta? Luis Alejandro. 
No? No, no, teacher. No, never. Okay. Entonces, y levantar la manita virtual, sí, if you have a question. Si tiene una pregunta. Um, y eso es lo de la plataforma. And this is another thing. Okay. So, you are in pre-intermediate. Um, we are going to make a quickly introduction of yourself because I need to know you. I need to know your names. So you have to practice. Obviously, you have to practice English. So you are going to introduce yourself. You are going to say your name. Ahora voy a preguntar edad, vaya. Only your name, para que no le defend. Your name and um, a hobby. Your name and a hobby. What do you like to do in your free time? Okay, as you can, volunteers, voluntarios. Oral, ah, okay, thank you, Jenny. Okay, Jenny. Yes. Hello. Hello, Miss. Uh, my name is Jenny Akane Molina Cortez. My hobby is watch TV. Excellent. Watch TV. Okay, vamos con Mendes Mendes. Hello. Uh, good, good night. Uh, good evening. Sorry. Uh, my name is uh, Maria Magdalena Mendes. My hobby is uh, uh, exercise and listen to music. Excellent, Maria Magdalena. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with Peralta. Okay, um, good evening, teacher. My name is Elena Marisol Peralta. And my hobby is, for example, learn new phrases all every day because um, that is for me uh, very important to expand my English. Excellent, great. That's a good hobby. Thank you, Elena. And let's continue with Martinez Grijalba. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Uh, my name is Marjorie Martin Martinez Grijalba. My hobby is spending time with my children and uh, listening to music, uh, singing and dancing to it uh, throughout the house and watching movies with them. Excellent. A lot of hobbies. Great. Thank you, Marjorie. <laughs> yeah. Yes, when you have kids, you have to do a lot of things. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Aguilar Urias. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Julissa Aguilar, and my hobby is play softball. Okay, softball. Thank you. Okay, more volunteers. Don't be shy. Okay, Castillo Roque. Good evening, teacher. My name is Manuel Fernando Castillo Roque, and my favorite hobbies are playing soccer, and I love to spend time with my friends by playing video games as well. Ah, uh, so you look like a gamer. Your yeah. chair looks like a gamer. So, yes. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> thank you, Manuel. Okay, thank you. Okay, more volunteers. Todavía faltan. Hello, Ordens. Hello. Good evening. My name is Concepcion de Lourdes Núñez. You can call me Lourdes. Um, I have 
free child and I like uh, watch the movies, movies and listen to music. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, Lord. There's three children. Three children. Okay. Yes, Alas. Hello, my name is Veronica Alas. I live in La Paz. Um, I, I like to uh, play my son and cook uh, cakes. Great. That, that's a, a good hobby. I also love to cook and, and cakes and desserts. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Okay, let's continue with Gomez Luna. Hi, good evening. My name is Daniela Cristina Gomez Luna. My hobby is reading books and playing music. Yeah, reading books, excellent. What type of, of books do you enjoy? Every everything. Or do you have some books that you enjoy the most? Everything. Everything. Excellent. Okay, who is missing? Don't be shy. You see que los hombres no han hablado. Only one. Baisa Jiménez, Carpio. Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, getting, getting. Aquí estamos, teacher. Aquí estamos. Okay, in English, practice. Introduce okay. yourself. My name is in Luis Mendoza. And I love motorcycles. And I love cooking. Well, excellent. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Okay, vamos con Baisa. Hey, hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, um, my name is Alex Baisa. You can call me Alex or Baisa, my last name. Uh, my hobby is uh, watch TV every weekend <laughs> and Netflix. series too. Netflix uh, or, or another time. Okay, excellent, yes, thank you. Nice to uh, meet you. It, it, it's your last name from El Salvador. I have never heard Baisa. It's new Baisa. for me. Uh, yeah. Well, my parents say, uh, well, my parents uh, born in San Miguel. Okay. Uh, they they ever ever told me. Uh, your last name is from the Spain. 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 Yes. But but it's I not... always always say I am from El Salvador. Okay. I am Salvadorian. A hundred percent. A hundred percent Salvadorian. <laughs> Made in San Miguel. No, but you didn't born on on San Miguel. No, 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 San Salvador. Okay. Okay. So my Thank parents you. born born there. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, vamos con Carpio. Hi, teacher. Good night. My name is Os Carpio. Uh, my hobby is uh, listening music. Okay, listen. all music. All type of music. Only listen or listen and dance. Uh, only listen. <laughs> Okay. Dancing, not... no. <laughs> ah. Okay, thank you, Jose. Okay, it's so nice to meet you all. It's ah Jefferson. Por ahí veo. Vamos a ver. Hay algunos que se me quedaron por ahí. Hi, no. chair. Evening. Uh, my name is Jefferson Alexis Ponce. I live in San Martin. And my hobby favorite is. Um, Los video games. <laughs> yes. Los, Sorry. Eh, video games. <laughs> ah, play video games. Okay, sí. play video games. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jefferson. Okay, so we are going to start with uh today's topic. Muy bien. Did you uh, enter to to the platform? ¿Ya lograron eh, ingresar a la plataforma? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, no, no problem. No sé si ya están en el grupo también de, de WhatsApp. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Muy bien, entonces, uh, with the topic for today. Okay, today we're going to learn about let me open here. No, my internet. So wait a minute, wait a second. Okay. It's a very exciting place. Okay, that's the, the topic. Okay, and here we have some adjectives um, to describe places, okay? Um, we, we are going to describe some places. We can, uh, we, we have positive adjectives, okay, in, in uh, column A, we have positive adjectives when you when you say good things about a place, and in column B we have negative adjectives. Okay, when you don't like that place, so we have a. Yeah, um, if we have beautiful, um, chip. Clean, interesting, quiet, relaxing, safe, spacious. Okay, these are some positive adjectives. Okay, adjectives son los que utilizamos para describir, para decir cómo es algo. Okay, para añadir información sobre algo. Those are adjectives. Okay, and then we have some negative adjectives like boring, crowded, um, dangerous, expensive, noisy, polluted, okay, stressful, and ugly. Okay, do you have questions about meaning? Alguna pregunta sobre significado? Meaning? Or... Um, a word that you don't know? No? Oh, what is the meaning in letter A mm -hmm. and number seven? Safe. For example, Same. President Nayib Bukele, uh, he is saying that El Salvador now is safe because we don't have gangsters anymore. So you can go in your bus with your cell phone and no problem because it's safe. Yes? Let's, uh, seguro. Seguro. Uh, mm, a, a safe environment. Como se, seguridad, seguro, safe. A place is safe. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, what is the meaning of the letter F? F is polluted. For example, here in San Salvador, we have a lot of pollution because of the buses, because of the um the the enterprises pol pol uh, polluted is uh, or the trash. Todo lo, lo que contamina. For example, Rio Selguate is polluted. And we have a lot of smoke and because of the cars. So that's polluted. It's uh, con contaminado. 
eh, yes, eh, como todo lo que abarca la, la contaminación, que puede ser el aire, agua, la basura, ok, that's polluted. Okay, more questions? No? Teacher. Yes? How do I go to the page you are seeing now? Oh, I'm trying to, this trying is, to look. Yes, this is on, on your platform uh, in the section here, Students Manual. I don't know if you have it, but also they are going to send them. También se los envían por si no lo pueden ver desde ahí. Eh, también se los envían el, de manera virtual, no sé si al correo. Ok, probably in this week. Sí, por si acaso no lo tienen por ahí. Ok, so we are going to describe the place where you live using one adjective. Ok, so you are going to type, van a, a escribir on the chat here in Zoom, uh, type a sentence, uh, Two sentences, one using a positive adjective and one sentence using a negative adjective describing the place where you live. Okay, for example, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to give my example. Okay, for example, I can say, you can start typing. Usted puede ir escribiendo, yeah. Okay, dos ejemplos, dos oraciones. Uno utilizando un positive adjective y uno con un negative adjective. You can uh, describe your neighborhood. You can describe your house. You can describe um, el, de, el departamento o el municipio donde usted vive, por ejemplo, ahí mencionaron La Paz. O sea, for, the, the, for example, La Paz is peaceful or is safe. Okay, Teacher. so, yes? I'm sorry, uh, we can type it the, the chat? Yes, on the chat, please. Okay. Okay, remember to use in a positive adjective and in the other sentence, a negative adjective. Vamos a utilizar adjetivos, uno positivo y uno negativo. <laughs> okay, thank you, Lourdes. Okay, Ana Yulisa, beautiful, okay. Okay, los demás, more example. Okay. Okay, clean, excellent. <laughs> the gasoline, Alex. Okay. Okay, noisy, yes. Mm 
and the beach ones, okay, are beautiful. Yes, totally agree. And says, teacher, yes. Puede poner de nuevo la imagen que no, no tome nota de, de los. Ah, ok. De... Ahora, gracias. Thank you. Sorry for the quality. <laughs> We have the streets. Remember, Idalia, we are talking about places. Estamos escribiendo lugares, places. The streets are polluted with trash. Yes. Liliana also places, not not people. Our country now is safe. Yes, that's that. Najib Bukele said. I think it's it's true. Okay. Okay. Time's up. Muy bien. ¿En qué posición we are going to use the adjectives? ¿En qué posición se utilizan los adjetivos en la oración? Y como estamos describiendo que we are going to use adjectives, los podemos mayormente se utilizan after the noun. Okay, for example, uh, si no... Eh, si no vamos a utilizar el verb to be, que okay, por ejemplo algunos dijeron my house is small, que okay, ahí estoy yo introduciendo el verb to be. Entonces en ese caso sí eh, voy a, a, a utilizarlo después del, de, la, de la cosa o de la persona o del lugar en este caso que estoy describiendo. But Okay, excellent. My English class is interesting. Pero si no vamos a utilizar el verb to be, sino que vamos a utilizar uh, el the place, for example. And the adjective, we are going to uh, say um, before the adjective and then the, the, the noun. Y entonces tenemos dos posiciones dependiendo si lo utilizamos con el verb to be, ¿verdad? que es como el que veo que más están utilizando, pero también lo podemos utilizar sin el verb to be de forma corrida, poniendo primero el adjective and, and then the, the noun, okay? el, el, el lugar. And for example, I can say this. This is an interesting place. Okay, no estoy utilizando, bueno, si estoy utilizando verb to be, but not between the adjective and the noun. Entonces, um, for example, um, if I can say relaxing. Entonces, voy a utilizar el verb to be al inicio. This is a relaxing um, house, for example. Okay, o 
podría decir, como la mayoría lo ha utilizado, como veo en los ejemplos que la mayoría puso, this house is relaxing. But it's a little bit different. Ok, si ve, este, depende del énfasis, ¿verdad? Que usted quiere, quiere dar. Si usted lo deja junto, está como enfatizando un poquito más el, eh, que, va, que la descripción se refiere a ese lugar. Ok, this is a relaxing house. Ok, it sounds a little bit better if I say this house is relaxing. Ok, entonces... Digamos que eh, eh, debemos de, de, de um, try both, both cases, okay? But um, the most common in English is without that separation. Digamos que cuando utilizamos en medio el verbo to be, es más como, como si lo estamos traduciendo del español, algo así. Entonces, pero comúnmente en inglés se utiliza de la otra forma. Y this is a relaxing house. ¿okay? Que eh, se utiliza más o se escucha mejor que decir this house is relaxing. ¿okay? Entonces, y suena eh, el significado, no sé si lo, lo, lo escuchan, un poquito diferente. ¿okay? Porque le da un poquito más de énfasis. Ok, eso sería para el uso de los adjectives. Ok, eh, sería para ambos casos, para positive o para negative adjectives. Ok, en ambos casos eh, sería the same. Okay, do you have questions? Preguntas? No? Ok, so we can practice this uh, conversation. So I need to volunteers to to read the dialogue i'm going me okay start so where are you from carmen i'm from san juan puerto rico wow i've heard that's a really nice city Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. It is expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Reasonable. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Reasonable. Reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have beaches, but uh, practice the pronunciation. Beaches, beaches. Uh -huh, beaches. beaches. and beaches. reasonable, reasonable. Reasonable. Okay, por ahí vi otra voluntaria. Yes, teacher. It's pleasant. Me, okay. teacher, Elena. Okay, Elena. Okay. Nosotros. Yes. Yes. Okay. Eh, Eric, y no sé quién va a ser la otra. People. Okay, start. Okay. Okay, va. So, where, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I, I heard her that it's really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. It is, it is pretty her better? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are very pretty reasonable. Oh, big is the city. It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. 
it shone to me my I shot play I then there sometime okay thank you muy bien we have should I should I should and get about a pretty 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 uh -huh. pretty like pretty woman Okay, pretty. Uh -huh. Muy bien, thank you. Y aquí, además de los, uh, de los adjetivos, están utilizando unos uh, como marcadores, que ya los vamos a ver después, como para enfatizar aún más the, the adjective, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, tenemos aquí el adjective be, y todavía se está enfatizando con to, to be. O sea, no es solamente grande, sino que, o sea, uh, not, aunque en este caso sería negativo, no to be, no to be. Entonces, let's see, uh, here we have the grammar. Ok, y um, tenemos the adverbs before adjectives. Ok. Um, for example, tenemos, ya habíamos identificado los adjetivos. En este caso, eh, tenemos nice, big, expensive. Um, y dice que los podemos combinar con adverbs. Y estos adverbs eh, serían, en este caso, como adverbios... Uh, que nos van a modificar el adjetivo, ya sea para agrandarlo, o sea, para hacer énfasis, o para restarle o darle suavidad. Entonces, por ejemplo, puedo decir really nice. O sea, no es solamente nice. Okay, uh, how was the movie? Ah, it was nice. Es diferente a si yo digo, wow, the movie was really nice. Entonces, estoy haciendo un énfasis. And also we have fairly big, fairly big. Okay, uh, este es como, uh, fairly es, es considerablemente. It's fairly big. And we have very, que también sería para uh, aumentar uh, o dar énfasis. Tenemos expensive, que it's not the same that Gasoline is expensive, for example, como dijo Alex. But now, gasoline is very expensive. Okay, entonces, ahí estamos haciendo un énfasis utilizando adverbs. Y aquí nos dan algunos adverbs que podemos combinar con los adjetivos. Que okay, we have extremely, very, really, pretty, uh, fairly, en somewhat. Okay, entonces, estos adverbios los vamos a posicionar, si usted se fija, antes del adjective. Okay, before the adjective. Okay, um, it's clear this part. Yes. Está claro cómo vamos a, a combinar los adverbs y los adjectives. Okay, primero vimos el uso de los adjectives y ahora estamos como haciendo un énfasis en estos adjectives utilizando adverbs. Clear? Yes. Ok. Muy bien. So let's see some examples. Vamos a ver si es cierto que está claro. De las mismas oraciones que me habían dado ejemplos, ¿ok? Using the same sentences, you are going to add an adverb or you are going to combine the adjective with an adverb to make emphasis in your description. ¿Ok? For example, yo había puesto, this is a relaxing house. 
Entonces, como vamos a agregar el adverb, que okay, I can say, this is extreme, this is an extremely relaxing house. Ok. Utilizando el mismo ejemplo que ya habían pensado. Ok. Rewrite your sentence using an adverb or including an adverb. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Ok. So let me read your examples, please. Empieza a escribir sus ejemplos. Ya en teoría ya tenía su oración, solo vamos a agregar el adverbio. Okay, my neighborhood, it's really boring. There's not much to do. Excellent, Claudia. Okay, give me more examples, quickly. Don't think too much. Teacher. Yes? Is that okay if we add more than one advert, for example? Um. Yes, you can combine two adverbs. Give me your example, Manuel. Yeah, because I'm trying to say this is a really pretty good city. Um, really pretty. I never hear that. <laughs> Nunca las he escuchado combinados. Yes, you can combine, but I'm not sure. No me suena mucho. I think I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of confused because it's like if you're saying it is realmente hermoso something mm. like that i think so only... but i'm not i'm not sure i'm not sure because i want to make sure that really pretty can be at the same time in the same sentence yes i i uh i have to make a research about how to combine two others we can as uh, as uh, See those combinations tomorrow if you if you want. Okay, let me check. Déjeme investigar qué adverbs podemos combinar, and I will tell you tomorrow. Okay. Perfect. Okay, say my job is very boring. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my house is very small. This is a, a really pretty good city, really pretty. Okay, that's your example, right, Mama? Okay, the town is very safe and extremely. Okay, which is very and really. Y los demás, y los otros adverbs. Okay, the park is really beautiful. Okay, living in El Salvador. Is what is the meaning of fairly? Fairly, it's... Uh, fairly. Como considerablemente. Fairly, fairly big. It's like a, when you say fair enough. Mm -hmm. When you agree, for example, to a cause of anything or something. Yeah, it's fair enough for me. Uh, Can I say that? Yes, but with, with without enough. It's fairly, it's like, uh, así, considerablemente, it's fairly big. Que considerablemente we, gran, uh -huh. we can to use uh, uh, a food and a With, fairly piece of cake. Uh, no ese tipo de considerable. Um, Como queriendo hacer un poco más grande la pieza o algo. Yes, could be. Because piece sería como un, un noun. O sea, piece of cake se convertiría en un solo, en un, un, un solo nombre. Yes, you can use it in that way. Okay, my job is somewhat stressful. Okay. Eh, eh, Carlos, no veo el adverbio en su ejemplo. Carlos David. Okay, my house is very small. My neighborhood is really awful. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, no more examples. Entonces, recuerde que la mayoría de estos adverbios son para hacer énfasis, o sea, como para añadir impacto, por así decirlo, al, al adjetivo, al adjetivo. Y mañana podemos ver lo que preguntaban de las combinaciones. Okay, how, how, oh, how, uh, what adjectives uh, can we combine or if we can combine to, to uh, adverbs together, to adverbs. Okay, now let's see this part. We have some questions. Um, Muy bien, dice number one. What sounds like? Okay, it's, it is, is it an interesting place? Okay, what do you think is the answer to that question? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? ¿Cuál cree que sería la respuesta? What sounds like? Is it an interesting place? Oh, really? Which one? Mm, oh, really? No. Tenemos que hacer una descripción. Vamos a ver. It is an, uh, oh, sería not. Not really. Esa? Okay, A, B, C, D. B. D. B. B. D. Okay, this D. M D. 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 Yes. Okay, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I, think it's I a. away. A, vamos a ver. Oh, really? It's a beautiful What's and so nice? clean. Mm, no, A, no. no. D, yes, probably. Veamos B, yes, I have. Esto no podría no. ser. Uh -huh, because mm. the question is what. Okay. It's an interesting place. Entonces, si la pregunta es con verb to be, is. Is it nuestra respuesta? Tiene que ser con el mismo verb to be. Not really, it's too small. Yes, así que nos mm -hmm. quedamos con letter D. Okay. Question number two. Juan Carlos, can you read the question, please? Do you like your hometown? Why, why or why not? Okay. Thank you. What could be the answer? Mire el auxiliar que estamos utilizando. Estamos utilizando do you. Entonces, busque una respuesta que tenga that auxiliary. Eh, okay. Dice, do you like your hometown? No. Let it... B. B. Yes, I have. No. Yes, I have. No. No, 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 no. no. Okay, le pueden ayudar también a Juan Carlos. Vamos a ver opinions. Letter C. Letter C. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Okay, yes. Could be. Number three, Jenny, can you read that question, please? What's Sydney like? I have never been there. Okay, the answer, what could be? Okay, los demás? A. 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 Or, or really? It's beautiful and very clean 
it as a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Okay. So, let's have a description, right? Entonces, y aquí ven que tenemos también algunos ejemplos de lo que acabamos de ver. ¿Verdad? Combinando adverbs and adjectives. And the last one, number four. Help me to read the question, Margarita. The microphone. Uh, say, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Paulo? Okay. Sao Paulo? It's, 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 uh, yes, I have. It's an extremely large, large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurant. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, y vamos a ver. ¿Qué adjectives puede encontrar aquí en estos, en las respuestas, in the answers? Tell me what adjectives do you see? Very. 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 Extreme. Extra, 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 excellent. Excellent. Amazing. Pretty. Pretty. Too small. Really. 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 Right, okay. listen, listen to the question, listen to the question. Adjectives, porque pregunté adjectives y me dijeron very, y very is not an adjective, it's an adverb. Okay, adjectives, and raise your hand, okay, if you want to participate. Levante ahí la manita virtual para irle dando la palabra. Okay, Ana Yulisa. Uh, for example, uh, I have Anna Yulisa. For example, boring. Boring. So okay, did. está aquí, verdad? Boring. Vamos a ver, Alex. Um, ahí lo tenía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Lower, beautiful. Lower this. Extremely. Extremely. Extremely is not an adjective. Extreme. What is no. an adjective? Ahí. Large. 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 Crowded. Yes. Crowded. Crowded no, sí. and large. Sí, 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 sí. Esos serían los adjetivos, correct. Okay. Okay, Liliana. Small. Small, muy bien. Okay. Friendly. Friendly, um, aquí, here, yes. Friendly, uh -huh. one more, uno más. Amazing. Clean. Clean. Amazing, yes, what is it? Clean, correct. No veo amazing aquí, amazing. Okay, ahora rápidamente veamos los adverbs, los adverbs. Because it's almost time. Really? Excellent. Excellent. It's Excellent. an adjective. En este caso sería uh -huh. un adjetivo. Excellent. Excellent. Ok, los adverbs, ¿cuáles serían? Como ya identificamos los adjectives, va a ser más fácil identificar los adverbs. A ver. Very. 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 Muy bien. Extremely. 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 Pretty. Um, really. Pretty. Really. Really. Great. 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 It's too. Uh, where is Great. it? Where? Where, where, where? It's two and letter D. D. Not really. Uh, two. It's two. Two. Uh, yeah. Two. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Excellent. Muy bien. Great. Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it's a kind of clear. Esta clara la diferencia between the adjectives and the adverbs and how to combine them. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Limpio, muy limpio. Yes. yes. Okay. So only let me let me check the attendance again and then we can go. Solo para los que no estaban. Um, Juan Carlos López. Hi teacher, este ahí solo me quiero, quiero aclarar que por mi trabajo al principio no pude conectarme porque estoy un poquito ocupadito aquí en el hospital, okay. pero logré conectarme al final. Okay, okay. Aquí le, ahorita lo está. Um, Juan José Carpio. Okay, gracias. Yes, teacher. Yes, ahí está. Um, Liliana. Por ahí la yes, teacher. Yes, Liliana Dolores. Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Los demás creo que ya solo. Ah, Verónica Alicet. Verónica. Ah, ya la vi. Ok. So that will be all for today. Tomorrow we will continue with this topic and more. Okay, thank you for being on time and for participate. See you tomorrow. Don't miss the class. Thank okay? you. Bye bye. Thank you. Nice good night, night, teacher. Thank you. Have a good, good night. night. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Good good night. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye-bye, teacher.